I'm going to show you how to make this uh, lovely bikini. Uh, oh, maybe top you can make here longer and use this as a top. It's so easy to make and you don't even need 100 grams of yarn. I use two balls. Uh, these two was 50 grams and let me show you there is still 60 grams left so you only need you will only need um, 40 uh, grams of yarn but of course we will use two balls that's my yarn yarn art jeans This color is 52, 157 lot. This color is 1, uh, 555 uh, lot. Okay. Uh, these yarns are a uh, category 2 fine yarns. Recommends 3.5 millimeter hook, but I used four millimeter hook is a little up to your hand actually if you are a loose hand uh, crocheter you can use 3.5 uh, 50 grams is 160 meters 174 yards 45 persons uh, acrylic and a uh, 55 percent cotton fully cotton yarns 100 percent cotton yarns could be a little hard to use if you are using water actually if you want to uh, use these in wear this and go, go dive in a pool or sea you want them uh, dry easily so Acrylic blends uh, will be better for this kind of uh, things, tops. Um, that's all. You need a yarn needle, some scissors, and as I told you, 4mm hook. I will explain you how to make it smaller uh, or bigger in the video. Uh, if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. I made one of the cups and now we are going to make the other one. Uh, I want to explain you how to make this bigger size or smaller size. Here is under your breast here is your nipple make your uh, chains between two of this i made uh, 17 chains plus two just for starting i start with this way if you uh, have smaller breasts than this you can start maybe uh, 15 plus 2 you can try it if you have bigger you can add more chains here and there's a second way which is a easier way uh, you can add two more rows here or you can uh, make two less row but it's so uh, um, tiny maybe it's for a child um, and there is one way too you can use it um, use same pattern with a bigger size yarn and hook which is the easiest way <laughs> okay just use a category 3 yarn with a 4.5 or 5 millimeter hook it will be bigger or a smaller size yarn and hook it will be it will be smaller 
Now we're going to start with the darker color. Let's make a slip knot. And uh, I'm going to make 17 plus 2. Turn, skip one, two, three, insert into this fourth stitch, yarn over, insert into fourth chain, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And that's my second double crochet. That's the first one and second. Put one double crochet into each chain till you reach the last chain. Last chain will be our corner. Maybe you can hear this uh, guitar voices. My neighbor has a son, actually, he is my friend too, and he is, um, what can I talk, he's uh, studying theater and playing guitar. He is an artist and a good boy. I made 16 double crochets. Now that's my last stitch. And we're gonna put five double crochets into this last chain. One, two, three, it's be better to use two strands here or else there will be a huge um, space. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we turn around. As you can see now, starting from here, we are going to put one double crochet into each chain. That's the first one. I put one double crochet and you are going to hide this tail two. Just work around it. <laughs> I told you we have a new cat from uh, her cat earthquake zone and she is crazy literally crazy crazy cat I've ever met <laughs> you can hear her she's too young and likes to play <laughs> But my boys are so old and fat. <laughs> so actually, I'm playing with her mostly. 
I made 15 and that's the last one. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. How to change the yarn easily. I don't want to uh, leave long tails then hide them so I will show you one more way. Now insert into this third chain, put a double crochet, okay, just cut your yarn, do not leave long tail, cut here, now grab the second color which is white for me, Just lose this last double crochet. And each time while you are cutting your yarn, you're gonna need this long tail. You will not make uh, this last stitch. You will leave a tail mm, just a second. It's almost 10 centimeters, 4 inches for me, but it's chains. Uh, so I want you to try your way. Now grab this yarn. Okay. Put it under your tail. And we are going to make a knot here. You see, I will show you it this way. Put this yarn on the top of the first strand, okay? Make a knot and pull it. Now we're gonna make the same thing with this tail. Just pull it under make a knot. Important thing is here one of your uh, knots a tail uh, which one is the is coming from here the uh, yarn you used uh, must look to the left and this new yarn must look to the right side then pull it Okay, now I will always use this way. If it's not enough, my explain not enough for you, you can find this knot with the Russian knot name, I think, on YouTube. I made the last double crochet. Now chain three, turn. And starting from the second stitch, because that's my first double crochet, starting from the second, I'm going to put one double crochet into each stitch. Uh, you know, I made 16 double crochets, then the corner for the first row. Now I'm going to make 18 double crochets, then the corner. Let me count. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. You see? That's my 
one, two, three, four, five double crochets. Let me count one more time. And that's 18. That's the middle stitch, third stitch. I'm going to put five double crochets here. One, two, three. If it's too hard to find it for you, you can use a I made three. You can use a stitch marker or a different colored yarn. You can put it here. I made five. Then put one double crochet into each stitch. You will have 18 in the end. Just keep going. I'm almost at the end. I made 16, 17. Now I'm going to cut this yarn and attach the other one. I will show you one more time. And make the last one into this chain. Chain three. That's my first double crochet. Starting from the next stitch, I'm gonna put um, 20 double crochets this time. Just keep going. You see, I reached the marker. I'm gonna make five double crochets here. Two, three, four, and five. Then put one double crochet into each stitch. I'll see at the end, by the way, just a second. Hi! And you can see Rishwik here and she's Huta. We are calling her Kuzi, like um, kind of girly, you can call it like that. And uh, I'm keep going. See at the end. I it and I didn't make this last one. I'm gonna cut this yarn and attach the other one. Then I will keep going. If you want to make my size, you're gonna make totally seven rows. Starting from here, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's middle size. And once you complete this one, you can cut your yarn. And I'm gonna show you how to make the border. I uh, complete seven rows and cut the yarn from here. Now I'm gonna join the whites from this side. Just make a slip knot. Sorry. 
insert from the third chain chain three into the same stitch put two double crochets one two now skip two stitches one don't miss this one okay one two into the third stitch insert and make a slip stitch chain three put two double crochets into same stitch skip two into the third put a slip stitch chain three skip two put a slip stitch chain three two double crochets skip two a slip stitch keep repeating this uh, till you reach to the stitch marker now I'm here skip two into the third insert and make a slip stitch now chain five insert same place make a slip stitch chain three two double crochets here skip two make a slip stitch now keep repeating this till you reach here you're gonna make your last slip stitch a slip stitch into this stitch uh, just complete and cut the yarn okay now we are gonna make here but first uh, I want to make some chains for here and this part and this part okay then work double crochets on them for here I will use gray you can use a white too if you want sorry I will make four chains if your uh, breasts not close to each other you can make more chains you can adjust it it's up to your uh, body shape now let me see if it's enough or not yeah, I can make one more four five and join Make one more chain, cut your yarn. Then we are gonna make chains for here and here. Join and just make chains I'm not sure how many chains I will make right now but you will um make a tie with this cord from your back and if you might want to make a bowl maybe you can make it longer uh, it's a little up to you <laughs> again i'm gonna make the chains and when i turn back i will give you the um 
chain count and make the same thing for here too. I made 80 and 80 uh, chains for each side. I wish I started first, I first made this one and start from here. Um, but it's not important. I cut the yarn and now I'm gonna join. I just turn this upside down. That's the right side of my work, okay? Now I'm gonna start with a standing double crochet or you can or you can insert uh, here chain three and count this one as your first double crochet and keep making double crochets. Insert, pull through two and pull through two. That's my first double crochet. Insert into the next, put a double crochet. Put a double crochet. Keep making double crochets till you reach here. I complete all the chains. Now, for here we have double crochets as you know. We're gonna make two double crochets around one side double crochet. One, two, that's the next one, one, two, you can make it around or you can insert here. Make a double crochet. One, two, one, two. Okay, you have a double here. And a double. Keep repeating this till you reach here. When you reach here, put one double crochet into each chain make five double crochets here then keep going keep going and complete this row with double crochets here then. I complete double crochets for the first row chain one turn now for this row I'm gonna make half double crochets till I reach here Half double crochets. How to make them? Insert into this first stitch, grab the yarn. Do not count this one chain as a stitch. Yarn over, pull through all. Insert into the next. I have three loops on the hook, pull through all. Just put half double crochets I have 80 double crochets till I reach here I'm gonna complete them and see you I complete 80 double uh, half double crochets now I'm gonna make a kind of ribbing for here uh, but for this you need to have um, an odd number it will look better with it uh, you can make it with an even number two 
maybe it could be easier but that looks better so I'm gonna start with a front post double crochet yarn over insert here grab the yarn pull through two pull through two yarn over for the next one I'm gonna insert the hook from the back and around the double crochet give it to back again pull through two pull through two make a front post double crochet back post double crochet front post back post front post back post I'm gonna keep repeating this but uh, I have totally 60 double crochets here so I can use this one too I will have 79 uh, half double crochets later it's not too important I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna make my last front post double crochet around this just complete here now I complete here then starting from the first stitch I'm gonna make half double crochets again see at the end once you complete the row, just chain one, turn and starting from the first stitch, make half double crochets again till you reach this um, rubbing. Okay. okay, now we are here. You see that was my last front post double crochet. Now I'm going to make a back post double crochet here. Yarn over. Put a back post double crochet. Then a front post. A back post. Front post. And you will repeat this once you reach here you're gonna finish with a back post then make half double crochets as you at the end of the row now the last thing we're gonna make this strap uh, and for this just leave two meters uh, or a little more yarn just fold this yarn okay leave more than two meters and fold it we are gonna use these two strands together I made 85 chains for here and I'm gonna repeat it insert from this five chain space from the top and make chains use two strands together I complete the chains now just lose your loop lose it You see, yes. I have a long tail here, so I will use it again. Insert from the same place, grab this loop, pull it. And that's how we 
gonna make an easy um, teaser. I need to find my needle. Just a second. Yeah. You can use some help here because it's not so easy to make all of these with only one hand. Just insert from here. And fix it. And that's all. I hope you like it. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Series Crochet is my Instagram address. It's also my website, Revelary HC. Uh, Pinterest. <laughs> you can find me anywhere you want. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.